November 5, 2019 Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Brothers and sisters, we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them, if prophecy, in proportion to the faith, if ministry, in ministering, if one is a teacher, in teaching, if one exhorts, in exhortation, if one contributes, in generosity, if one is over others, with diligence, if one does acts of mercy, with cheerfulness. Let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and the hedgerows, and make people come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Priorities. A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. 
when the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. This happens far more often than we may at first think. How does it happen? It happens any and every time Jesus invites us to share in his grace and we find ourselves too busy or occupied with other more important things. Take, for example, how easy it is for many to intentionally miss Sunday Mass. There are countless excuses and rationalizations that people use to justify missing Mass on occasion. In this parable above, the scripture goes on to speak of three people who excuse themselves from the feast for a good reason. One just bought a field and had to examine it. One just bought some oxen and had to go care for them. And another just got married and had to be with his wife. All three had what they thought were good excuses and thus failed to come to the feast. The feast is the kingdom of heaven. But it's also any way that you are invited to participate in God's grace. Sunday Mass, moments of daily prayer, the Bible study you should join, the mission talk you should attend, the book you should read, or the act of charity that God wants you to perform. Every way that grace is offered to you is a way in which you are invited to the feast of God. Sadly, it's very easy for some to come up with an excuse for denying the invitation of Christ to share in his grace. Reflect today upon God coming to you and inviting you to share more fully in his life of grace. How is he inviting you? In what way are you being invited to this fuller participation? Do not make excuses. Answer the invitation and enter into the feast. Let us pray. Lord, help me to see the numerous ways in which you call me to share more fully in your life of grace and mercy. Help me to recognize the feast that is prepared for me and help me to always make you the priority in my life. Jesus, I trust in you.